She's giving Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan, what you tell me what you want to do? Just all the tips and tricks that I know and that have helped me manage my hair, the, having the right tools, the right products, and just a little couple things that'll help you out with your hair journey or help just having healthy hair and less tangles. That's that's the goal. So before I get started, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this hydration mask to my face. So just ignore it. So I got my hair straightened about four or five weeks ago. I always try to stretch it out as long as I can before I wash it, just to minimize the manipulation that is done to my hair. Tip number two, minimize tension. So to do that, I'm using clips instead of hair ties. Anytime that I can use clips in place of hair ties, for a temporary hold and minimize tension on my hair, I do that when styling different styles and also when washing my hair. Another thing you want to avoid is styles that are too tight as well as any style that has a lot of pull on your edges. That is one way that I've been able to keep my edges full. I know it looks good, ladies, and I know we want our hair to be neat, but it doesn't have to be so much tension on your edges. It's okay for your styles to get older. Here I'm just finishing the section of my hair so we can go ahead and get started on the shampoo process. After my hair is sectioned, I go ahead and I wet my hair, focusing it on the roots where all the buildup from the products, the dandruff, just to loosen all of that up and the rest of the hair will get clean, but you just want to really focus on getting the roots. If you have dry, itchy scalp like me, I definitely recommend this shampoo. Not only does it relieve my dry, itchy scalp, it removes all the buildup, which is really hard to find a shampoo that does that without irritating my skin. I've been using this shampoo for three to four years. Next, we're going to go in and detangle the sections as we add the shampoo so our hair doesn't get too tangled throughout the whole time we're doing our hair. That leads us to our next tip. Whenever you are combing your hair, always start at the ends. The ends are fragile. You want to treat them like a newborn baby. So detangling, start at the ends. Wet, dry, start at the ends. I'm going to braid this section up and continue the process throughout my entire head. Now I'm going back in with my spray bottle just to ensure that my roots are saturated with shampoo and water and just scrubbing my scalp to make sure that I get it as clean as possible. The purpose of leaving these braids in my hair is to keep it from tangling after we've already combed it out just to make the washing process easier and yeah, we won't have to worry about as many tangles throughout the routine. Minimal shedding. This is all I got from my whole head. I'm going to leave the braids in my hair and then wash the shampoo out. Now that our hair is clean, we're going to go ahead and get ready to condition. That leads us to our next tip. Work in sections. Everything you do to your hair, sections makes it easier and to make sure that you thoroughly get the product through your hair, you thoroughly get your hair detangled. Everything is more thorough when you work in sections. We got our hair washed, pulling everything out. Now we're gonna go in with conditioner and add the moisture back in. When I condition my hair, I start on the oldest part, the newborn first, Condition the ends first and make sure the conditioner is thoroughly combed through the ends to make sure it gets on every strand of hair. So take your time with this and make sure every single hair strand is coated. 
to ensure the moisture stays in each hair follicle. Now I'm going to twist this section back up and get it out the way and continue this process throughout my entire head. Tip number six, be gentle on your ends. When I get to the ends, you know, it's thinner than the rest of our hair and it doesn't always want to braid. So I just twist it instead. And wherever my hair wants to stop braiding, I stop braiding and I twist it. After detangling the hair again, this is all the shedding that I have. Now we decondition. Just assure, ensure that my ends stay in the bag all right because it needs the most moisture. To help keep in the heat also, I'm going to put my bonnet on top. And to make sure that don't move, let's just tie a scarf around the edges. We'll let this sit and let the moisturizer just soak in until the morning. Good morning. If you hadn't noticed, my hair is transitioning so my end curl pattern is looser and finer because I used to get Brazilian blowout. We're going to go ahead and go in and detangle again, starting from the ends, just to make sure one last time that our hair is detangled and the product is worked thoroughly through our hair. You can really see the different hair textures here. Repeating the same process on the other side before we rinse out our hair. Now that I've rinsed out my hair, this is what it looks like. Next, I'm getting ready to blow dry my hair, but you know the drill. Section and detangle. Now I'm going in with my heat protectant spray before we blow dry. When I blow dry my hair, I go in with medium heat, but on high fan, if that makes sense. So mine has a one and a two for heat and a one and a two for speed. So I pick the second speed, but the lower heat. That leads us into our next tip. Avoid as much direct heat as possible. Heat damage is one of the number one reasons that we have breakage. So focus on using as lower heat and not as much direct heat on your hair as possible. natural thick black girl hair i do it for us i only blow dry my hair out like this when i'm getting a protective style that requires it typically i let my hair air dry but this is what it looks like blow dried out. Thank you guys for watching this video. All hair is beautiful. Just take care of it. I love you. Until next time. Stay beautiful. Just look in the mirror. No one's gonna say.